The Morgan Stanley's tech, media, and telecom conference continued today, and Disney CEO Bob Iger had a lot to say about the future of the media giant. Julia Borston has the details. Hi, Julia. Well, Tyler, Bob Iger laid out his priorities for Disney's next two years. Now, across the conversation, he stressed a focus on profitability, both looking for opportunities to cut costs and be disciplined with spending, while also evaluating opportunities to raise prices, particularly around the company's streaming business, saying, quote, we have a lot of rationalization to do from a pricing perspective. That's one path to profitability. Another is we do have to grow subscribers. A third is basically coming to grips with rising costs of production and just figuring out how much volume we need for that platform, that platform being, of course, streaming. He also said there's opportunity to license more content externally. And he also noted that he's bullish on Disney+. Plus. But negative on linear TV, the jury is still out on Hulu. He said the new platform hasn't had the growth they need in order to be profitable. Now, as for the parks business, Iger was bullish there and said it is somewhat recession resistant, but he did note that they need to be cautious not to overcharge for the parks. They want to make sure that going to the parks remains accessible. Tyler? Julia, quick question. When he says linear TV, is he talking about ABC or is he talking about ABC and ESPN, et cetera? I think he's talking about all the above. The old fashioned TV bundle, he understands that it is in decline and he's talked about the shift over to streaming. But of course, in the meantime, they have to maintain that linear TV business while building up their streaming audiences and making sure that the revenue they generate and the profits they generate from, from streaming can supplement or replace what's being lost from linear TV. But the other thing to keep in mind here, Tyler, is that the advertising business overall, there are a lot of questions about uh, whether or not it's going to feel a contraction this year, considering all the uncertainty around the economy. All right, Julia, thank you very much. Julia Borst and Julia, well, let's, let's, let's turn to you for a thought uh, on, uh, on Disney. Go ahead. Yeah, I think it's interesting hearing him talk about, you know, we're going to try to harmonize our costs relative to what we expect to generate in revenue. And it's kind of shocking, right? Because you think that's basically how all the streaming companies have been working, right? If we build it, they will come. And there's no side of connection to the ability to generate revenue against that. It would be like building an entire neighborhood and having zero idea how you could price it. So I think there needs to be more rational behavior in streaming. We won't benefit as consumers, but I think it's an important first step, at least, to understand profitability of this business.